golf experience, the most celebrated pickleball and tennis in the state, private member only dining, and a calendar packed with events for all ages. Come find out what makes us so special. Is pickleball or tennis your game? Our award winning racket facility offers options for all ages and skill levels, along with some of the top teaching pros in the country. Enjoy an array of fresh menu selections in the Twisted Oak Tavern from Chef Chris and gain exclusive access to our members only speakeasy. The new green room offers the perfect mix of amenities and comfort. Whether you're looking to play around on our multi sport simulator, enjoy perfectly crafted cocktails and cuisine with friends or family, or watch the big game, the green room has it all. Enroll this spring and save. Golf memberships start as low as $425 a month, and new racket and social members pay no fee to join and save as much as $600 in their first year. To find out more, contact the membership office at 405 751 6266 or email join at thegreencc.com. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope, and they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's It's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. It's overwhelming to figure out what to do to stay healthy these days. Take this. No, don't take this. Staying healthy is up to us. The Third Opinion can help. Tune in Saturday mornings from 8 to 9. The Third Opinion is an interactive radio show. Their team of professionals stay on top of the latest research in the health and supplement industry. They'll help you figure out which Starwalker supplementals might help you. The Third Opinion, Saturday mornings, 8 to 9 on KOKC, 1520 AM, 95.3 FM. Hi, this is John Lodge of the Moody Blues. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Do you? Nights in white satin. Independent thoughts, independent life. This is Chad Benson. Arizona for Abortion Access says it has gathered over half a million signatures beyond the number to get the question of abortion access onto the general election ballot in the state. The group's proposed amendment would amend Arizona's state constitution to prohibit lawmakers from legislating against abortion up to about 24 weeks of pregnancy, and it would enshrine other abortion protections into Arizona law. Currently in Arizona, abortion is outlawed after 15 weeks. Oh, abortion access. Get it everywhere if you're the Democrats. Get it on every ballot, even if it's enshrined in your constitution. Make up a new rule. Get it on the ballot. Why is that, you say? Because they need it. Big time. Big time. Now. Between now and this election, all kinds of crazy stuff is going to happen. I just want you guys to understand that you look at numbers now. Biden's making a comeback. Trump is struggling this way, that way. All of those things aside, so many things are going to happen between now and then. But one thing's for sure, abortion on the ballot is huge. And the reason for that? Simple. Republican struggle, trying to define where they stand. Because when when you're pro-life... But you don't really have to worry about Roe v. Wade going away. You don't have to really worry about anything other than grandstanding and talking about things. Yes, you're working towards something, but you never thought it was going to happen. That changes everything in the way you approach stuff. Because once it happens and then it gets to your state, well, then there's serious issues there. Because now you have to define it. Where do you stand? How do you really feel? Because you also know that there are a lot of Republicans who believe, well, I'm not a fan of it. I want access to be there. But it can't be crazy. 
How do you define it? And those states that matter, and I'm not saying every state doesn't matter, but we already know 43 of the states are kind of decided. Seven states now. And abortion being on the ballot is important. Case in point, let's break this down for you. Right now, and like I said, a lot of stuff's going to change. Because I don't know what is going to happen with the economy. Could, could turn to crap. Could stay strong. Inflation could come down. I don't know what's going to happen with what's going on in the Middle East and what's going on with Ukraine, what's going on at the border. We don't know any of those things. They could all turn up like roses for Biden. That doesn't change his aid and the age and the other things that he has going on. But you don't know. And vice versa. It could all go south and Trump walks in there. But the seven states that will decide new poll out Wall Street Journal and the much too early. But we've got to talk about polls every once in a while. And these are the polls that matter. Likely voters matter. They matter the most in seven states. Arizona, Trump up by five. Georgia, Trump up by one. Michigan, Trump up by three. North Carolina, Trump up by six. Nevada, Trump up by four. Pennsylvania, Trump up by three. Wisconsin, dead heat. Here's one thing I would like to see. They didn't put RFK Jr. on there, which I think they need to do. I think they absolutely need to put RFK Jr. on there because I think, especially in the states, they believe that he is going to be on because that is going to matter. I think at this point in time, he's going to pull more away from the from the Democrats than the Republicans. But he is definitely going to be a factor. You know, having him on would affect a lot more than these numbers, I think, at this point in time. So you got to take in all the factors. But those seven states, that's what matter. And abortion, getting it on in Arizona, Nevada. That is going to be huge. Does that number go from 47 to 42? That's what Trump leads in Arizona. Does that shrink? It's possible. But adding RFK Jr., even if those numbers came closer together, Biden went to 45 and Trump dropped down to 44 or whatever, does that mean, you know, if you add him, does he pull away another three, four, five points for Biden and essentially we're in the same place? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be interesting to see what takes place. But abortion is going to be a massive issue. And the Republicans, I say it every day when we talk about this, pick a lane, come together, have a cohesive message, and deliver that message. That's what you have to do, which means they'll fail. Because, well, I don't have a lot of confidence in them delivering messages. I think you know that. Here we do Woke Wednesday. We talk about the woke wackiness on Wednesday. Uh, and, you know, Chad, why do you care about schools? And that's the indoctrination is silly. We talked yesterday about book banning. It's not about book banning. It is about what? Age appropriate. That's what matters. Here's a parent out there in Massachusetts. It's not thrilled by some of the things in the high school. Preparing kids for life. Um, one of the workshops was how to be a drag queen, and got to tell you, didn't set well with me. Um, you have seventh grade and up, so we have now a workshop how to be a drag queen. Tell me, as a grown woman sitting here before you, what life skills are we teaching these kids on how to be a drag queen? I'm, I'm, I'm missing the point here, but I'm, I'm certainly open-minded. And I'd like to know that when they have this drag queen workshop, we consider it acceptable and that the Sutton School's mission statement was in line with this. Are you guys in line with it? Are you guys good? Do you guys understand how to be a drag queen? The importance of the drag queening? Do you get that? Now, we're not talking about trans. We're talking about drag queen. That's a profession, Chad. Like, how does the workshop truly help a student? You know, you have a 30-year-old male that comes in in a, in a pink miniskirt with white lace underwear, and he's telling the kids that his breasts are freezing, and he's having the kids choose a drag queen name. Now, this is in school, okay? I don't care outside of school, but I'm telling you, in school, for him to be saying that and then to have them pick a drag queen name, I'm, I'm, losing, I'm losing sight here on what we're trying to do. Oh, you think? You're losing sight? You're not understanding what this is all about? It's not about teaching kids. It's about indoctrination and insanity. We we're talking earlier about vocational schools starting to gain on colleges, which I think they should. I think a vocation is amazing because you're learning a trade. You're learning something you can take with you anywhere. You have something that is truly malleable in the where you live and how you can use it. It is awesome. You don't think a drag queen is a vocation? I do not think that, sir. She's upset. The parent from Massachusetts still wants to know 
certain things about what took place because it wasn't just them talking about it. Apparently there was a show. Um, and then from there, with his pink miniskirt and his white lace underwear, to proceed to dance on the tables so the kids can see under the skirt. Okay, you got to help me here, folks. So, and dancing, you're, you're exposing your underwear. Your panties, you can see your panties. I don't think this is age appropriate. I don't believe that it belongs in the school. And that's why I'm here tonight. So we went from a drag queen workshop, and now we have a drag queen show. It has a right to be upset. If that was my kid and came home and he said, hey, this is what happened at school today, I would say, you know what? We're going to find you a new school. This is not what school is about. I'm sorry. Drag queens should not. That, that, and, and it goes back to this. Age appropriate. And I've said that over and over again. It's like with the books where they're taking this out. of The stuff that I tried to play for you yesterday that I really couldn't even play for you was so over the top and ridiculous, I would get fired if I played what she read or I read it myself. Age appropriate. Age appropriate. It's not about banning. It's not about not seeing drag queens. You want to do that at your house? Like that lady said there. But it went from, first of all, why is a drag queen here? Secondly, to essentially doing cartwheels and seeing the junk. Ridiculous. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet at us, text the program. Rob Parker. NBA guy, ESPN guy, former ESPN guy, I don't know if he's not on ESPN, said that Caitlin Clark could play in the NBA. She needs to skip the WNBA. She's the best college basketball player. You're insane, sir. That will never happen, sir. She is not good enough to play in the NBA. Enough with this stuff. Because you're going to hear a lot about that in the coming week. And she's great as a female college basketball player. She is not NBA. She couldn't play in the G League. Just can't happen. Sorry. Just can't. You're six foot. 155, 160 pounds, you're not going to be able to compete. You just can't do it. This thought of like, ah, oh, totally can, it can't happen. It can't. Because you don't want it to? No, because it can't happen. Sure, you put her on her team. And could she score some points? Maybe. Are you ever going to play her? You can play her in crunch time? I don't think so. 323 538 2423. At Chad Benson Show with your Twitter. We'll wrap it up straight ahead. Raycon, best of your buds around. Mother's Day coming up. Get your mom the best thing. Some silence. The amazing everyday earbuds that fit incredible, that sound incredible, that don't break the bank. Eight hours talk time, 32 hours of battery life. They've got three different sound modes. You can easily switch through one tap function to answer phone, do things like that. But that isolation mode is incredible. And you will absolutely love giving these to mom. Now, right now, they're 20% off. They start well under 100 bucks, And I want you not only to get these for mom, maybe get yourself a pair as well. Mom's going to love you for it. You can give her the isolation and quietness that she wants in a time of chaos. And when she wants to, listen to the great podcasts of the world. Listen to awesome music. It's great. So what are you waiting for? Give your mom the gift that keeps on giving. Solitude and silence. And when she wants, eight hours of talk time and 32 hours of battery life, which you can listen to her favorite podcast and do the things she needs to do. The Everyday Earbuds from Raycon. Start well under 100 bucks, Saving you 20% right now. Free shipping. And a 30-day happiness guarantee. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Buyraycon.com slash Chad. Chad Benson Show. Has your child's health insurance been impacted? Harris Parker has more. In the know, I'm Harris Parker. Did you know that over 4 million children have lost their Medicaid coverage? Pediatrician and American Academy of Pediatrics spokesperson, Dr. Kimberly Avila Edwards, discusses the ongoing public health emergency. The biggest concern about children losing Medicaid insurance is the health risks they face without access to care. Families may also be forced to shoulder the full cost of medical expenses without the safety net of coverage, leading to financial hardship and increased stress for already vulnerable households. Medicaid plays a vital role in ensuring children have preventive care, timely treatment of illnesses, and management of chronic conditions all crucial for healthy childhood development. If you're unsure about your child's eligibility or have received notices of disenrollment, please contact your local Medicaid agency. They can clarify eligibility and guide you through the renewal process or help you find another coverage option. My top two tips are to be proactive and return paperwork quickly. Learn more at localhelp.healthcare.gov. I'm hearing more and more about the incredible work of emotional support dogs. But quite frankly, I think all dogs are emotional support dogs. Trust me, I know. I am emotionally supported by my dog. His unconditional love is second to none. And that's why I love him back with Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, knows it's our responsibility to do whatever we can to help our furry family members feel better, especially if they are struggling with achy joints, low energy, and even bad breath. All those symptoms are telling you there's something wrong. Rough Greens is the easiest way to help your dog. 
Just add a scoop of Rough Greens to their food every day and get them back on the road to better health. Dr. Dennis Black is so convinced Rough Greens will help your dog that he's offering a free Jumpstart trial bag. Simply cover the shipping. Visit roughgreens.com slash chat. Bring dead food back to life with Rough Greens. Roughgreens.com slash chat. That's roughgreens.com slash chat. R-U-F-F-Greens.com slash chat. Airlines have just reduced their prices even more. Book 30 days in advance and save big. Want the absolute lowest prices on your airline tickets? Then call the low-cost airlines travel hotline right now. For prices so low, we can't publish them anywhere. The only way to access our low rates and save up to 70% is to call. Save hundreds on your vacation tickets by calling right now. You can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline. Airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at Low Cost Airlines. 802-341-4525. 802-341-4525. 802-341-4525. That's 802-341-4525. All they want to do is keep you poor and stupid. The Watchdog on Wall Street podcast with Chris Markowski. Every day, Chris helps unpack the connection between politics and the economy and how it affects your wallet. Some in the media are trying to tell you it's bad if your prices go down, causing a deflation spiral. If prices go down, are people really going to hold off on buying things? Doesn't everyone need groceries? Whether it's happening in D.C. or down on Wall Street, it's affecting you financially. Be informed. Check out the Watchdog on Wall Street podcast with Chris Markowski on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Richard Gerhardt, founder of Gerhardt Law. We specialize in patents, trademarks, and copyrights. You can find out more at learnmoreabouttrademarks.com. We love working with entrepreneurs and helping their businesses grow. And here is our client, Ricky, to tell it like it is. Hi, I'm Ricky Frango, founder and CEO of Prime 6. We manufacture high-performing clean end marks, the patents, everything that has to do with product development and how to protect our inventions. And we're extremely grateful for the wonderful team that has been supporting our business since day one. Thank you, Ricky. To learn more about trademarks, go to learnmoreabouttrademarks.com and download our free Entrepreneur's Guide to Trademarks or book a free consultation with me to discuss your patent and trademark needs. That's learnmoreabouttrademarks.com for your free booklet about trademarks and a free consultation. Doctors Without Borders is delivering life-saving medical care where it's needed most in communities around the world. From bandaging war-wounded patients in Sudan to providing clean drinking water in Haiti, we're in more than step from crisis to care. This life-saving care is made possible by a global movement of supporters like you. Thank you. Deep states? Uh, no. Deep doo-doo? Yeah, the Chad Benson Show. Apparently not liking Beyonce's new country album is racist. Yeah, so um, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on it. Apparently um, it is an amazing album and I'm not allowed to dislike it. So yeah, in case any of you guys wanted to have an opinion on that album, you're not allowed to. Uh, I only know one song on it. I'll be be honest with you. I haven't heard the whole song. I've only heard what's on Reels and TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This ain't Texas. Many of you probably go, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's good or not. But you can. And again, this is if you're white. If you're white and you don't like another country album from a white person, what does that make you then? I'm curious. I'm sure there are people out there who are pissed because Beyonce or any pop star, for that matter, that comes in. And 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 does really well. And I don't even know what country music is anymore because you sit there and listen to it. And you're like, that's that can be played anywhere because that's kind of where we are with the music genre. And we've been talking about it earlier in the day with A.I. and the musicians taking on A.I. and the fear and worry about what's going on out there. It is understandable. Let me tell you something. You guys know I deal with A.I. every day. We were doing something yesterday. We were some people were asking us questions because they're thinking about doing some A.I. stuff. And uh, they are amazed and shocked at 
what it can do, and it's still in its infancy. Katy Perry has a song about intelligent life from other planets. But she's cautious about artificial intelligence. She's one of more than 200 artists who have signed an open letter warning about the possible irresponsible and predatory use of AI in music. Others signing on include John Bon Jovi, Sheryl Crow, Stevie Wonder, the Jonas Brothers, Imagine Dragons. In the letter, they say if AI is used responsibly, it can aid creativity, but used irresponsibly, it's a threat. And they're asking the industry not to use AI in a way that would infringe on the... And if you didn't write the song, you didn't produce the song, you didn't sing the song, is that your infringement? What if you're an up-and-coming artist and you sound like Drake or you sound like Beyonce or you sound like, uh, you know, whoever, the Imagine Dragons? Trust me, I understand the worry of people out there. But AI is here, and you got to figure out a way to use it to your advantage. Think about all the albums now Beyonce can produce. Country, hard metal, anything. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. But the creativity side still has to be there. So one thing I continue to tell everybody... Prompt engineer, look into it. If you're looking to do things, we were talking earlier about college and stuff like that. Tell your kids, prompt engineer. And and people think, oh, it's you, you got to be able to type in something. No, it's not what you got to be able to type into. It's understanding how to position yourself in a world that is coming. How to create certain things in a way that is 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 cohesive when it comes to AI. That is important. Because even coders, talking yesterday to a couple people who are big-time AI folks, and one of the things they've been working on is creating AI to code. Well, AI itself can do some of that. But AI now is building specifically, this is what's crazy about it, it's building specifically other AIs that can code better than them. So think about this. It's there, AI doing its thing, and you want it to code something. It doesn't know how to do that. So what's it do? It builds something that's better than it to code specifically for that, because that's not in its function. Crazy. 323-538-2423, at Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet at us, text the program. Love hearing from every one of you. Uh, yesterday. Is we always ask you to text in. And we talked about RFK Jr. One of the things I said is he's got something wrong with his vocal cords. And somebody says, you make excuses for RFK not being able to speak. But Biden's lifelong stutter, what say you? Crickets. Typical right-wing douchebaggery. I love when I hear that. Makes me laugh. He stuttered as a kid, I guess. He's not Mel Tillis. You guys know who Mel Tillis is? Famous country singer. Uh, Pam Tillis, country singer. was his daughter. He had a really bad stutter. He could sing, but there was, I mean, you couldn't get through a conversation. Like, that, that was the stutter he had. It comes when people want to make an excuse for Biden about certain things. I'm not saying it's something he hasn't overcome, but great for him. But everybody acts like, you know, when they're upset over Biden's speech, well, it's because of his stutter. Come on. Good that he overcame it, but uh, how much of that stutter was there back in the day because i go and listen to speeches that he gave you know in the 80s and 90s and i don't hear any stutter do you and if he stuttered like mel tillis well then wouldn't that be something i think we would see every single day no rfk jr has a problem where he's had to have surgery on his vocal cords it's just everybody's got it you just don't understand you're a douchebag jab douchebaggery because you don't want to talk about the stutter that he overcame. RFK Jr. has something that you can obviously hear is a real issue. Biden's issue has nothing to do with his speech pattern of stuttering that you say is there. And it comes and goes, I guess. It has a lot to do with a lot of other things. Like his memory, issues like that. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show is your Twitter. Tweet, text, love hearing from every single one of you. It's time to learn a little something new. Now it's time for Stupid Information. Stupid Information. That's right. Some stupid information you can take with you. Press your friends, kids. Pillows. Been around a while. Big business. About $18 billion a year. Earliest pillows can be traced to Mesopotamia. Cradle of civilization. Yeah. By the way, if you go and... Look at pillows back in the day. Yeah, they sucked big time. 
big time. In fact, they were hard. They were shaped in, in you know, they, they look more like candles that you're sleeping on, like where you would set candles. A candelabra? Yes. Than anything else. But it was the Egyptians who decided, hey, we're going to try some different stuff. We're going to put certain things inside of here. We're going to put, like, maybe feathers. We're going to put straw. Other things inside of pillows. Length of an average nap, one hour. Age at which a toddler can start sleeping with a pillow is two. And the average width in inches of a standard modern pillow is 20 inches. First Saturday in April is International Pillow Fight Day. That's right. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, it is. First International Pillow Fight Day was held in 2008 across 25 cities around the world, reaching approximately 5,000 participants in New York City alone. It is now held each year on the first Saturday in April. So there you go, kids. Little fun stuff that you needed to know on this beautiful, amazing Wednesday. We got you over the hump as we do. 323-538-2423. At Chad Benson Show. Your Twitter. Tweet at us. Text us. This is the Chad Benson Show. Paid for by Christian Care Ministry. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into, and that is MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save many families up to 500 bucks a month, and that is huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch, too. The member satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan double. MediShare works too. It's been around for 30 years. Members have shared more than $5 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So yeah, really, you can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want to plan you're happy with, you can call right now. You'll get a price within two minutes. So see what you can say. This is a very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. Call 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station. Entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 15. 20 a.m. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Steve Kathan. A furious effort's going on in Taiwan to get to people trapped in piles of debris after the strong earthquake that shook the island. CBS's Vicki Barker. The quake rattles a chandelier in one home, brings bookcases and books crashing to the ground in another. <laughs> Searchers call out to the trapped amid fears that the death toll will rise. At least nine are dead in Taiwan, hundreds more hurt in the magnitude 7.4 quake. Cleanup underway after several storms, including tornadoes, hit from Texas and Oklahoma north to Ohio and into the south. This man was eating lunch in the food court of a shopping mall in Huntington, West Virginia, when strong winds blasted through. I heard the wall back there collapse and it come tumbling to the ground. This has been certainly not your average day at the mall. In Washington, D.C., Attorney General Merrick Garland says violent crime is down in the U.S. and federal efforts to fight it are being expanded in several major cities. A flood of illegal guns into our communities is increasingly driven by individuals who sell guns without a license, and who do not conduct background checks on their sales. As the report indicates, these black market guns are often found at crime scenes. A Washington state man who used a megaphone to orchestrate the 2021 mob attack at the U.S. Capitol has been sentenced to more than seven years in prison. Videos captured Taylor James Jonatakis playing a leadership role. Highlighting a campaign issue today on battling high drug prices, President Biden spoke about moves to lower the cost of asthma inhalers and insulin. Take insulin for people with diabetes. It costs 10 bucks to make. If you add everything in terms of packaging and all the rest, you can argue maybe $12 total. And they're charged as much as $400 a month. Not anymore. Not anymore. Seniors with diabetes will only have to pay $35 a month from this point on. LSU star Angel Reese has formally declared for the WNBA draft less than two days after the Tigers' season ended with a loss to Caitlin Clark in Iowa 
in the Elite Eight round of the Women's NCAA Tournament. In a speech at Stanford University, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said policymakers will likely cut the benchmark interest rate later on this year. Reducing rates too soon or too much could result in a reversal of the progress we've seen on inflation and ultimately require <clears throat> even tighter policy to get inflation back to 2%. And checking Wall Street right now, the Dow is up 56 points, the S&P up 17. This is CBS News. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career path with flexibility, great pay, and benefits? Go to Progressive.com. Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optum Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore, and I'm able to live a comfortable life, a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go out alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Big money on the line again tonight in a multi-state lottery. The Powerball jackpot has grown to $1.09 billion after yet another lottery drawing yielded no winner Monday night. The jackpot is the fourth largest in Powerball's history and comes on the heels of a $1.13 billion Mega Millions prize won by someone in New Jersey just last week. It has been three months since anyone won a Powerball jackpot. The next drawing is Wednesday night. Matt Piper, CBS News. NASA wants to come up with an out-of-this-world way to keep track of time, putting the moon on its own clock. Not quite a time zone like those on Earth, but an entire frame of time reference for the moon. There's less gravity on the moon. Time moves quicker compared to Earth. NASA has now been told by the White House to work with international agencies to come up with a new moon-centric time reference system. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. When you hire your local Serta Pro painters, you get the power of a cut above. Decades of expertise to transform your home from so so to virtuoso. The power of neighborhood painters. We live where you live and probably like the same pizza place you do. But the power of pro to work for you today. Get your project started at SertaPro.com. Each Serta Pro Painter's business is independently owned and operated. Tired of being sick and tired? Need some answers to your health challenges? Join Ultra Botanica's Adam Payne and Josh Bellew Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. for Ultra Life Today. Hear cutting-edge interviews with doctors and health pros that think outside the box. They'll be taking your calls and giving away life-changing products. Join Adam and Josh and live your ultra life today. Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. on 1520 a.m. and 95.3 FM KOKC. 1520 KOKC. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends, yep. Making sense of it all. Now oh, I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins Show. All right, let's do it. The Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins out today, should be back tomorrow. It's a planned day off, by the way. Some people get nervous about Scott, yeah. so just heads up on that. A lot to get to. Let's start with Kareem Jean-Pierre, one of your favorites today. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, she is a, 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 absolutely a glass ceiling shatterer, not <laughs> only as the first uh, black lesbian to hold the position of White House press secretary, but she is also the first press secretary to have been kicked in the back of the head by a mule as a child, which explains why she uh, says things that just don't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, so we'll start here. Uh, yet another illegal alien has been arrested for murder. Apparently he's confessed to the crime. Uh, Remember we talked about this last week. I mentioned at the time, you notice national media is nowhere near this story. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Trump Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked, do you think that's appropriate language? What does the White House have to say about this? Okay. We have to denounce. Our response is we have to denounce.
uh, any any violent rhetoric that we hear, uh, certainly from our leaders, right, that tears our country apart. It could tear up our country apart and puts our fellow Americans in harm's way, in danger. So we have to denounce that. Uh, and look, you know, okay. I think and we think uh, that the American people wants to see the country coming together. That's what they want. Uh, they want to. They want to uh, make sure that we respect our democracy. Who has split the country more than this administration? Well, on any number of different topics. And 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 really, you have gangs who aren't even coming here to stay. They're coming here to steal. Uh, you've seen that in Los Angeles. You've seen it in Michigan. You've seen it in New York, of course, in Chicago. They're going up, they're robbing people, and in some cases killing people or injuring people. Uh, and then sending that money back to wherever it is that they came from. You have this wave of destruction that's occurring as a result of this open borders policy. And the White House is concerned about the term bloodbath, which in this case accurately describes what's been going on. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. And you're not even getting into the fentanyl issue. No. That's a whole completely different issue as far as lives lost because of an open border. It's really interesting, man, because you have Democratic voters now figuring this out, and there is a backlash. You're seeing it across the country. And you and I were watching the video earlier of this lady in Chicago yeah, at a city council meeting laying it out. Oh, yeah, th this woman just... I mean, it, it was a, a, a master class in, uh, in speaking and in, in, in just laying out what's at stake, what's happening, and the outrage that so many people in this country feel as a result of Biden's border crisis. Yeah, and I don't know everyone that was in that meeting, but as far as bringing different people together, it seems like this did it. Yeah. Because this appears to be an American or an Asian American woman. Uh, speaking with people of color, and everyone's on the same page here, it sounds like. Everyone recognizes that something evil is among us, and Americans are not ready for the fundamental impact this will have. In fact, we can't even fathom it because we've never seen anything like this. Right. Yeah. We have an administration that is run by criminals who hate America. Yes, yes. Why they protect these people. Oh, man. Criminals that hate America. That's pretty accurate. It is pretty accurate, but if you were just to play that little three-second clip and played it for a bunch of people, there'd be many that would say, that's some crazy right-wing gathering. Right. And this ain't that, I guarantee you. Yes. yes. And we have a government that uses language to weaponize the masses. Mm -hmm. They're not illegal aliens, they're asylum seekers. Right. They're uh oh, right. they're not buying they that have... anymore, are they? No, they're not. And the they old shouldn't. asylum seeker nonsense. There are some, but it's rare when you look at all of the people that have come across the border illegally. Right. And they throw these terms around so that the people of America feel guilty. Because nobody wants to be a bad person. We all aim to be good. But there's a distinction between goodness and tolerance. You know what? <laughs> she had a way with words there that few do. Yeah. And I think we've talked about it several times. There are a lot of people in this country that have good hearts that want to help out people in need. And some are almost afraid to say what they really think of what's going on because they will help people. But then they see the invasion that's happening and the country changing before their eyes, and especially people in very poor neighborhoods that have been promised that they would get help from their local, state, federal government it doesn't come and it's all going to these people that have come here illegally. They've had it with that. And unfortunately, I believe the majority of Americans are not acting out of a spirit of goodness, but rather out of a spirit of cowardliness and naivety. Yes. Man. I mean, there, yeah, there are people who are afraid to say something. Not anymore. Doesn't seem like in no. a place like that. No, and, uh, and unfortunately, there are people who say that they're empathetic and believe that they are empathetic and uh, to various plights and all of that. But the moment somebody starts worrying about 
uh, this illegal immigrant crisis that has hit so many major U.S. cities, if it's not directly affecting them, they have no empathy for the people who are who are talking about it. I was talking about this with somebody I know um, who, fortunately, uh, their neighborhood has not been affected by this. Okay, My part of town where I live has been. And it's okay. not as bad as, as like certainly some places in Chicago, certainly other places uh, in Texas and all that. Not not nearly as bad. But I, I just noticed, I just said something like, you know, there's been a pretty significant uptick in people getting their cars broken into, mailboxes getting broken into. Uh, there's a ton of people panhandling all over the place. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all seem to have the same sign. It's very weird. Like somebody's mass printing this and handing it out. It's very strange. What's the sign say? It, it's usually something like, uh, you know, raising money. My uh, some family member has cancer or, or something like that. But it's all written in the same script, right? Like it's the same handwriting. It's it's very, it's interesting to me. And right. you wonder, okay, who's sending them out? What organization is sending them out to raise money to basically pay for their smuggling into the United States? Mm-hmm. You know, there there could be a lot of different explanations for this. But I was talking about that to somebody who hasn't been affected by this. Um, who said, oh, you just sound like a racist old white guy. And I said, well, talk to the black folks on the south side of Chicago, because uh, by your logic, they also sound like racist old white guys. Exactly. Yeah, it's interesting. The people in media that have talked for years about, you know, black voices being silenced, and we want to give a voice to people. Well, I notice all of a sudden you don't anymore. No. Because you don't want to give a voice to these people because it doesn't align with your politics wild man more on that a little bit later maybe you saw some of the video coming out of taiwan that earthquake 7.5 it was crazy and i mentioned it before the dude that was standing in the swimming pool and i don't know if that was a hotel or where it was and he's getting kind of rocked back and forth but the water's splashing out one side and then the other and then there was video of people on the bridge where it's shaking all over buildings half you know tumbled down mm-hmm. just brutal so death toll is rising last i heard was what nine or ten but at least 800 injured yeah and then you think of course <laughs> about the different places in the united states that are on a fault line that have been talking about you know someday it's going to happen here you can't help but think that when you're watching some of those images but as i was watching the story and it's get getting quite a bit of coverage which it should all of a sudden something dawned on me you know what we haven't heard about i don't think all week or if we have i've missed it what's that haiti yeah. All of a sudden, I mean, that it's a complete crisis going on there, and we've heard nothing in the last five days of what's happening there. No. Because, I mean, I guess that's the way news media works, is there's always some new fire going on somewhere, so you cover something else, and all of a sudden I'm like, I'm guessing Haiti is still a disaster right now. And Barbecue is probably still in charge, the gang leader. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's just so many things, it seems like, going on in the world right now um some good news to report um one crisis avoided all right and i think scott robbins who is not here today can rest easy because lizzo has clarified she is not uh, not quitting music oh okay good good because last friday she said she was tired of it all the haters and all the hate all she wants to do is bring joy but every time someone is talking about uh her appearance and she can't take it anymore yeah i'm paraphrasing but that was after she did the fundraiser fundraiser for uh, Biden, along with Obama and Clinton. But yesterday she posted a video to clarify um, she's quitting um, giving any negative energy her attention. Uh, so rest there. Uh-huh. Everything is going to be all right. Can I, I, I'll just say this again. I don't know why you would keep going if you've reached the level that she's reached in terms of, of wealth and fame. And I'm not, you know, everybody's got to do their own thing. I'm just saying, if I made $100 million off of a couple of tours and a few albums, Mm -hmm. you'd never hear from me again. (laughs) I'll tell this again to everybody who wants me off the radio. You give me $5 million, you will never... I will be managing a 7-Eleven tomorrow. You will never hear me on the radio again. I'll take one-fifth of that. Sign the same deal. All right, more to get to. Uh, Mass layoffs for fast food workers in California and more straight ahead.
attention business owners. Stop wasting money on rent and start building up equity by owning a custom design building from General Steel. Over four decades, General Steel's been trusted by small business owners and the Fortune 500. Call us today at 844-98-STEEL for your fast construction, low maintenance, high quality building at an affordable price. Call 844-98-STEEL to own your building starting with just a small deposit. Business owners like you are taking advantage of early spring weather and getting a head start in their projects. This surge in demand will extend the project timeline, so act now and be ready to build this spring. Call 844-98-STEEL to secure your place in our delivery schedule. Stop wasting money on rent and start gaining equity with a building from General Steel. Call 844-98-STEEL now to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100 perfect for the small business owner, or a 200 by 450 favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 844-98-STEEL. That's 844-987-8335. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere, from dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke. An asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting Primatine Mist, clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over-the-counter. Primatine Mist. Breathe easy again. Use as directed. Howdy, neighbors. Ron Hayes checking out the latest on our agricultural news on Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC. Back in just a moment. Ed Montana here, and I'll see you in Canadian, Texas, Tuesday and Wednesday, April 23rd and 24th for the 2024 Hemphill County Beef Cattle Conference with over 100 exhibitors plus 12 great beef cattle speakers, including keynote speaker Kaylee McEnany. Join me in Canadian for the best cattle event of the year. Plus, we'll enjoy ribeyes, Texas barbecue, and first-class treatment from our title sponsor, Capital Farm Credit. Go to the website and get your tickets today or call 806-323-9114. At BASF, we're constantly innovating. When others said, fungicides just can't last all season. We said, oh yeah, watch this. Then we invented Revilock fungicide. Powerful soybean protection that gets absorbed quickly, starts working fast, and lasts all season. It's everything everyone said wasn't possible. All new Revilock fungicide. That is how you do it. Always read and follow label directions. Greg Haynes with us today from uh, Cattlemen's Beef Promotion Board. Greg, uh, we've got, uh, of course, some high cattle prices right now. That makes these guys that uh, at uh, meetings like this at the Texas Southwestern Cattle Raisers very happy. But uh, we've got tighter numbers, and that means fewer checkoff dollars available. And I know that's something you, you've had to kind of account for as you do your planning uh, for the year ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right, Ron. I mean, it's great to see higher cattle prices now. Like I said, it makes the mood at these, these meetings much better but with the lower um, number of cattle that we have there and just you know seeing a a report here from randy block of cattle facts you know it doesn't look like we're going to get into that rebuilding phase you know probably not for the next few years at least it's going to be i guess a very you know flat rebuild so that does make it a challenge on the checkoff side because with less cattle we have less um, checkoff dollars um on the positive side to that, you know, the last few years as we were kind of going through more liquidation, we were actually getting higher um, collections than we anticipated during those few years. So we were able to hold some back, kind of anticipating this would be happening. And so we've been able to kind of uh, spread that out over the years. And we have more that we can use, can allocate over the next couple of years, too. And I think that will kind of keep those program funding levels fairly level which is important because as we're contracting out for these programs, you know, if you've got staff and, and all this, not knowing what your budgets are going to be or if they're going to drop you know, really low in one year, you're going to have to get rid of people. And I think this will help really keep things a lot more stable and keep those programs going along at a pretty consistent level. Top hired hand of the Cattlemen's Beef Board, Greg Haynes. And that's for Farm News on Talk Radio's New Generation. I'm Ron Hayes for KOKC. Out 
out. Plan should be back tomorrow. Might have heard about twenty dollar minimum wage for fast food workers in California. It's a yeah. law, you know. Yeah. And you know, this story it talks about inflation, you know, certainly drove up operational costs for businesses across the United States over the last few years and shrunk profit margins. Especially for major fast food chains. And I remember Robin talking about his granddaughter. It was like she would go from one fast food place and then another one across the street would offer a couple of bucks more. Yeah, they were headhunting. Yeah, because it was so hard to find workers. And that's happened all over the place. And as the story goes, small chains and mom and pop businesses simply can't compete. And now you have California's Fast Recovery Act passed into law in 2022, and now it's gone into effect. $20 $20 an hour. Guess what's happened? The mass layoffs have begun. Well, yeah. I mean, this thing was so hilariously corrupt, too. This is the law that we talked about a few weeks ago when somebody looked at the fine print and realized, well, wait a minute, because there's an exception built into the law for businesses that serve bread, that bake bread as a standalone item for sale. Now, there's only one major fast food company that would have applied that where this would have applied and that's Panera and the owner of Panera just happens to be a big supporter of Gavin Newsom I mean it's obviously corrupt (laughs) oh gosh that is so hilarious to me um now not only that you have the digital options that a lot of fast food franchises are going to because it's just more cost effective and all of this was predicted. Mm-hmm. And in the story, it I mean, it does not take a genius to figure this out. But in the story, it says the problem that it's typical among leftists. It's a lack of understanding when it comes to the basics of business operations. I don't know how you don't get it. Yeah. Is that you really think, well, they're making oodles of money, and they have plenty more to give to these workers. Yeah. That's part of it. I think there's ignorance at play there. There's grift at, at play there. You know, it's people wanting uh, labor union money or support from uh, certain voting demographics. But the other thing is, I do believe this, and you can say it's tenfold hat theory if you want. I don't think it is. But there are people who push for it because of what you're, you're seeing now. Because if you have a bunch of people suddenly laid off, what are they going to do? They need to be relying on public services, on a social yeah. safety net. And then what happens there? Well, you got to raise taxes in order to uh, uh, pay for this influx of people on the public dime. Well, where do you get that? You tax the businesses. Well, then you tax the businesses to the point where they start laying off more people. More people go up on the public dollar and so on and so forth. It's this death spiral on purpose to end capitalism. Well, and not only that, you're crushing the small mom and pop places again it's so at then, the same time and then eventually what happens we've already seen proposals recently of not only a universal uh, uh basic wage or basic income i guess that's what it's called but also government-run grocery stores oh yeah oh goodness well some uh some of these fast food places have been forced to cut work crews in half i mean those those working will be paid the extra Money an hour, they'll get 20 bucks now, but they'll have to work twice as hard per shift. But that's something else they don't talk about. No. Because the expectation is still there. And I don't know if you've noticed, over the last five years, just fast food service, not quite what it used to be. I uh, know. And it was a little suspect before, unless you went to, you know, fast food restaurants that have a good reputation, that train their workers well. There's a few of those. But outside of that, man, it's pretty dismal. Another story out there, Google deleting all of your incognito searches. I'm not a user of Google Chrome much, so I didn't even know there was an incognito search function with Google Chrome, but apparently a lot of people use it. Yeah. And a lot of people feel like, okay, when I go incognito, they're not tracking that. (laughs) Oh, please. There's nothing private on the Internet. (laughs) No. I mean, there are various ways, but look, look, I mean, they're not going to provide you with a free stealth browsing mode no a lawsuit filed a couple years back accused google of misrepresenting the type of data that it collects from those searches those incognito searches Mm -hmm. 
Lawsuit was settled late last year, but the details have just come out. They agreed to delete billions of data records from people's private browsing sessions. Now, the plaintiffs wanted $5 billion in damages, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Google is updating its disclosure forms, which I'm sure no one will read, and allowing people to block third-party cookies in incognito mode for the next five years. Okay. And they also won't track how often you switch to incognito from now on, is what they say. You, you can definitely tell who was up to no good based on their reaction to that story, though. Oh, would you tell to somebody? Yeah. They were tracking that? Uh-oh. <laughs> so I, all of a sudden, <laughs> this pale look comes off. Yeah, right. <laughs> like they just saw a ghost. It's, a, it's like when the news broke <laughs> that Pornhub shut down in Texas. <laughs> it's like, wow, a lot of you guys are telling on yourselves. <laughs> this is the Markley Van Camp and Robin Show. Okay, biggest story today, David. Uh, biggest story of the day is that, according to the Biden administration, the problem isn't illegal aliens running criminal gangs, killing people, running drugs, and, and human beings in the country. The problem is that Trump uses harsh language to describe it. <sighs> That's putting people's lives at risk. How? Lives at risk? More than they were at risk before? Right. Before someone got killed by an illegal? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we need to get to that. And then Biden slamming Israel. Need to get to that story. That's not a big surprise. And then a round of What's Your Story? Straight ahead right here. This is the Markley Van Camp and Robin Show. News from the Radio Oklahoma News Network, I'm Dale Forbes. Enid has a new city commissioner today. Radio Oklahoma's Ken Johnson explains. Enid voters used a recall election to remove city commissioner Judd Blevins from office. The Enid Social Justice Committee did so in response to Blevins' ties to white supremacist groups. His challenger, Cheryl Patterson, won the election 829 to 561 votes. Only a few days left until the total solar eclipse, and the state capitol is prepping Oklahomans for the event by bringing in the National Guard. Major General Thomas Mancino explains the Guard's role in keeping people safe. Anytime there's a large crowd of civilians in Oklahoma, we like to be there in case we're needed. Executive Director of ODOT also warns people to take safety precautions on the road because he expects there will be a huge influx of traffic in southeast Oklahoma. Beginning this week, many of the more than one million Oklahomans who use Sooner Care are now part of a new plan called Sooner Select. Emily Long is the public information officer for the Oklahoma Health Care Authority. She says the new program is about added value benefits. The program is really built with primary and preventative care um, focus so that we, um, again, are incentivizing going to the doctor. And a bill allowing the DPS commissioner to release certain information about suspects allegedly involved in possible terrorism is advancing to the full house. Representative Regina Goodwin didn't support the bill. If that one person, the commissioner, gets to decide who information is released to, that also seems to be one person having that authority, not only intrusive, but also it gives one person a lot of leeway here. The sponsor, John George, an ex-cop, contends the commissioner is the best person to release information like that. From the Radio Oklahoma News Network, I'm Dale Forbes. Hillary Communications, serving more than 19,000 customers with telephone service in 22 counties throughout Oklahoma.
doesn't want to believe it, and they, so they don't want to hear it at all. That's also, you know, in play in many cases. All right, that part of the show, we switch gears. We go around, and it may not be the biggest story out there, but it caught your attention. Today, David, what's your story? I saw this in the Canadian news outlet, the National Post. The headline reads, Canadian court to decide if government must pay for surgery to make a vagina if patient also wants to keep penis. What? So there's this person, uh, he's a guy, 33-year-old KS is how he's being identified in court. Um, born male, identifies as female dominant and uses a feminine name, but he says he's non-binary. He's actually three people in one. It used to be that we'd put that person in a straitjacket and sent them to a padded cell and heavily Get medicated them until they stopped hearing voices in their heads. But now apparently the loving thing is saying, yeah, let's let's like have taxpayer dollars finance your sex change operation. It's crazy to me. What he wants is the government to cover uh, his getting the, you know, the, I'll try to I'll try to be nice about this. I'll try to you know, use code a little bit. OK, it's a man, baby. He wants to keep Mr. Kanish. In addition to getting Miss Francis. Okay, I was going to say having your cake. Right, okay, uh, no, I'm not going to use that one. So why? Why? Why do you want so, that? So he wants. He doesn't want to get rid of Mr. Kanish because Mr. Kanish is a buddy of his, and he, he he's worried about potential side effects of having Mr. Kanish evicted off of his body. But he still wants <laughs> to invite Miss Francis over for tea. <laughs> and so he says the Canadian government would pay for me to have Miss Francis move in, but uh, but and would have would pay for Mr. Knish to be evicted, but they won't do both. So that's discriminatory because I oh my goodness <laughs> he wants he wants Miss Francis to be the I guess for show or I don't know I have no idea. My apologies wow. to anybody listening named Francis, by the way. It was just the first name yeah. that came off the, uh, off the top of my head. Okay. So he, but he wants to keep it. Yeah, a according to legal documents, he's arguing that to ignore the other third of me, uh, or it would be, uh, to have it removed would be to ignore the other third of me, because he thinks he's three people. Um, right. Uh, he says he is both, not exclusively one or the other, but literally a mix. Okay. What, does he think he can just put it back on when he wants? I, like the old King Missile song? Yes. <laughs> Detachable. Yeah. I don't even know if you can play that. Can you play that? I haven't heard it in years. That was in the 90s. Yeah. I woke up this morning with a bad hangover. <laughs> Was missing again. Yeah, it was missing. But I want to keep it in case I want to reattach. I, well, I think, no, 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 he wants to keep it attached. He wants to keep it attached? Yes. Okay. So it would be, again, Mr. Kanish and Miss Francis cohabitating. I'm not. Oh, got it. All I, right. I think somewhere along the lines, this guy heard the phrase, go screw yourself, so many <laughs> times that he took it literally. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, for my story today, can't top that, don't want to. Um, I saw the story that explains why you might still love the music that you loved when you were 18. It's a thing called neural nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Researcher, researchers are actually finding that the music we listen to as teens bind our brains differently than anything we're ever going to hear as adults. Do you, do you believe it? Well, I, I think that's just a fancy way of saying what Chris Rock said all those years ago. Okay. Which was, whenever you started becoming <clears throat> active, that's the best music that you'll ever hear. Hmm. That wouldn't check out for me. But, I mean, there are some... I, I would put it this way. There's some stuff that you loved as a teen... That you'll listen to now and go, I don't know how I ever liked it. It well, was really yeah. bad. Limp Biscuit is one of them for okay. me. Yeah. I mean, it, there's different ones. But there are some others that you may say, okay, I'm not saying 
that is going to win awards for great, well thought out lyrics, but I like it because I like the guitars. I like, you know, just rock sort of stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, quote from the the research said, we are discovering music on our own for the first time when we're young, often through our friends. We listen to the music they listen to as a badge, as a way of belonging to a certain social group. That's also, for at least for me, not true, because I had an older brother and an older sister. And so I would oftentimes, you know, start listening to stuff they had, and then you would sort of branch out on your own, I guess. <laughs> I'll go ahead and admit it. I did watch a documentary, and when you were off last week, Robbins and I mentioned that on the same day in 1984, the Rat debut album and Love It First Thing from the Scorpions came out. And uh, I couldn't day believe it. History. Yeah. It was incredible. And I could not believe it that, and of course, something's listening to us all the time. It pops up on a YouTube feed on Friday. There's a documentary on the making of Love It First Sting from the Scorps. Do you think I clicked on it? Of course I did. <laughs> yes, it was incredible, man. <laughs> You know, they almost called this song, it was bleepy like a hurricane. It's so Spinal Tap. And the record label had a problem. Well, of course. It's so hilarious. Of all the albums that needs a making of documentary. It that, does. That one would not have made my top 100. It's like... It's because you have no appreciation for the Scorps. And shame on you for that. It's like so, Sergeant Pepper's, you know... Dark Side of the Moon, <laughs> love it for Sting. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do a whole thing about how they came up with the album cover. It <laughs> <laughs> took a lot of brain power, yeah. It was, it, was an, <laughs> it was incredible. I still got that cough. Okay, uh, on a serious note, Biden slamming Israel again. We'll get to that and much more. Great ahead. Out of all the things we do to maintain and protect our homes, getting up on a ladder to clean out the gutters is one of the last things you want to do. It's time to upgrade to a permanent solution with Leaf Filter. Right now, you can save up to 30% off your entire purchase at leaffilter.com forward slash Markley. Protect your home from flooding, roof damage, rotting siding, foundation issues, and more. Leaf Filter uses award-winning patented technology to keep out everything but water. Every installation comes with free inspection, estimate, and lifetime guarantee. An investment in Leaf Filter is an investment engineered to protect your whole home. Protect your home and never clean out gutters again with Leaf Filter, America's number one gutter protection system. Schedule your free inspection and get up to 30% off your entire purchase at leaffilter.com forward slash Markley. That's a free inspection and up to 30% off at leaffilter.com slash Markley. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep. Guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere. From dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke, an asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting primatine mist. Clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over the counter. Primatine Mist. Breathe easy again. Use as directed. Jordan B. Peterson, We Who Wrestle With God Tour. If you say the truth and nothing else, you'll have an immense adventure as a consequence. You won't know what's going to happen to you, but the truth 
will reveal the world the way it's intended to be revealed. And the consequence for you will be that you'll have the adventure of your life. Jordan B. Peterson, live at Paycom Center, Saturday, April 13th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. This is the home of Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC, powered by Parrish Devon, official personal injury lawyers of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Visit PepperWins.com. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. And right now at Jim Norton Toyota, you can have six car payments made for you when you buy or lease any new or pre-owned vehicle. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back with super low rates and an optional three-year vehicle return plan and a $12,500 payment waiver that you can use when you need it most. Hey, it's a better, safer way to finance your next new or pre-owned vehicle, and it's available with Jim Norton Toyota's exclusive golden payment waivers. Check it all out at Jim Norton Toyota. Go to OKC.com, then come on out, shop a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles with rock-bottom prices and get added protection. And you'll have up to six payments made for you when you need it most. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. Hey, come on, who else offers a three-year vehicle return plan and up to $12,500 payment waivers? It's available on every new and pre-owned vehicle at Jim Norton Toyota. So check it all out, Jim Norton Toyota, OKC.com, or come and see us at 8401 Northwest Expressway. See the details. How do you make sense of all the information out there about retirement, investing, and managing your money? You have questions? We have answers. Tune in to the Financial Forum Show every Saturday morning at 9, live with me, Dwayne McAnally, Certified Financial Planner, and my brother, LaDon McAnally. Call with questions or comments or call my office at 728-1649. On this week's show, it's still not too late to decrease your taxes for 2023. Do you have multiple years of unfiled taxes or owe more than $8,000? The tax attorneys at Allies Tax Relief are your ally and will stop the IRS from garnishing your wages or them levying your back account. Call 800-230-5174. Join us for the Your Home Soul Guaranteed Radio Show with Wally and Cindy Kerr, Saturdays at 11 a.m. and Sundays at noon on KOKC. Sponsored by Chris Doak at Gateway Mortgage and Best Protect Roofing and Construction. Looking for a new home, selling your existing home, or just have questions about the housing market. With over 35 years of real estate experience, Wally and Cindy are here to make it as easy as possible. Join us Saturdays at 11 and Sundays at noon for your home sold guaranteed radio show with Wally and Cindy Kerr right here on KOKC. 1520 KOKC. The Markley Van Camp and Robbins Show. I'm Jamie Markley. That's David Van Camp. Scott Robbins off today. You know, there's a very common sense reason gold is pushing to all-time highs right now. There's actually a lot of reasons. The cost of goods continues to rise despite interest rate controls by the Fed. And if you look back since January of 21, the cost of living is up 17.9 percent. Yeah, not to mention the national debt continues to skyrocket now above 34 trillion, and that makes a lot of us worry when the whole house of cards is going to come crashing down and a presidential election year that will have massive implications for the future of this country, of course, as well. So it all adds up to instability and uncertainty, and that's why so many Americans are turning to Birch Gold Group. Question is, have you diversified your savings yet? You can secure a portion of them with gold from Birch Gold. All you have to do is text MVCR to 989898 to get your free info kit. You'll learn how to convert an existing IRA or an old 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold, and it doesn't cost you a penny out of pocket. Yeah, they've got an A-plus rating with the Better, uh, Better Business Bureau. They've got tens of thousands of happy customers. You can count on Birch Gold, too. Just text MVCR to 989898. That's MVCR to 989898 to claim your free info kit and protect your savings from uncertainty today. So Biden big mad at Israel again? Yeah, I, well, there's this terrible story out, out of Gaza. There are a lot of terrible stories coming out of Gaza. It's a horrific war. Um, but relief workers with World Central Kitchen were mm. accidentally killed by an Israeli missile strike. That's as the story goes. I mean, just, just awful. Yep. Um, Joe Biden put out a statement saying, I am outraged and heartbroken by the deaths of seven humanitarian workers, including one American, Incidents like this simply should not happen. Now, Israel is investigating what went wrong. It sounds like they have taken responsibility and they're saying, listen, we're going to try to figure this out. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And it should be noted before Joe Biden starts spouting off about this. If you remember, during the disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal, the Biden administration bombed an aid worker, killing 10 civilians, including seven children. Uh, And their investigation resulted in zero firings. Oh, that's right. I mean, this has happened many times, unfortunately. I mean, you hate to say, well, this is part of it. But you could come away with that conclusion when you're talking about war. Well, it is. War is not a video game. No, especially when you're talking about areas where there's a lot of civilians and on purpose. That's why Hamas hides where they hide. You know, just a terrible thing. And obviously, Biden doing everything he can to protect the Muslim vote in America right now. Because they're saying, we're not going to vote for you unless you do what we say. So we shall see. Um, Did see this story. And it was on April Fool's, but this was for real. I'll tell you this. The good news is we think these folks are going to be okay. But in Muncie, Indiana, two people were rushed to the hospital after they got hit by an airplane. They got hit by an airplane? That's exactly the reaction a lot of people have, saying, what? They were walking on this path, just a walking path, near an airport when a single-engine plane fell out of the sky. One of them seriously hurt. So was the pilot. But everyone survived. Wow. Even the deputy chief of police called it a bad day. <laughs> well, yeah, you get hit by an airplane. That's a pretty damn bad day. Yeah. You know that old song, had a bad day. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, sometimes I will send that to a family member, like as a delight to lighten the mood if you lost yeah. a game or something like that, just to, for a laugh. Yeah, it's a bad day. Yeah, you got hit by a plane. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that. That's not the day to send that video out. (laughs) Unless you want to go legend. I mean. (laughs) What does the future of mobility in Michigan sound like? It's the sound of new EV charging stations at our state parks. It's the sound of $17.5 billion in new investments to produce EVs and batteries in Michigan. And that? That's the silence of Michigan's new in-road wireless charging system. Discover all the ways MEDC is driving next-gen mobility in Michigan at michiganbusiness.org slash radio. Heard the catchphrase that's sweeping the nation? Jackson, Hugh, yeah! People are saying Jackson Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt because they love saving money on tax prep. Do you love saving money? Then switch to Jackson Hewitt today and pay less than last year. Thousands of people have already made the switch. Why haven't you? Stop waiting and start filing. You won't get a better deal or a better catchphrase. All together now. Jackson Hugh yeah! Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. When it comes time to replace your roof, dealing with the insurance company can be maddening. Especially when the rules keep changing. So get straightforward information from me, Scott McCollum. And me, Scotty McCollum. We We are are McRoof. McRoof. McRoof Talks Insurance. Answering your questions about insurance restoration on your residential or commercial property claim. Live 1 p.m. Saturday on KOKC, AM 1520 and FM 95.3. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station, entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Paul Gauguin Cruises. I'm Monica Ricks. Millions of people are bracing for more strong storms today with tornado watches already in effect in four states in the south and northeast. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says his state's already gotten hit hard. A lot of the highway impacts were in central and eastern Kentucky. They included crashes involving large trucks or structures that were blown into roadways. I think we had a barn 
um, uh, on, on a road. People took cover from tornadoes at a mall in West Virginia. I heard the wall back there collapse and hit come tumbling to the ground. It's been certainly not your average day at the mall. Damage assessments are also underway in Texas and Oklahoma. In Taiwan, a massive earthquake killed at least nine people and injured more than a thousand. President-elect William Lai says many more are trapped in rubble. Currently, the most important thing is to rescue people. We need to find out how many people are still trapped and to rescue them as soon as we can. About 70 miners are stuck in two coal mines. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan had to postpone a trip to Saudi Arabia last night due to a cracked rib. He was supposed to be there today to meet with the crown prince for talks on Israel. But the White House says he has to reschedule now. They didn't give too many details on the injury, though, just that he did it to himself. An appeals court heard arguments today on whether a controversial immigration law is constitutional in Texas. CBS's Camilo Montoya Galvez has the latest there. One of the takeaways from this hearing is that there is still a lot of confusion and uncertainty as to how Texas officials will be implementing this law. One of the provisions in this measure allows state judges to issue de facto deportation orders against migrants who are suspected of violating this law. The U.S. Supreme Court put it on pause to keep it from taking effect last month. Special counsel Jack Smith is urging a federal judge in Florida now to keep a presidential record-keeping law out of instructions that would be provided to a jury in former President Trump's classified documents case. Legal analyst Lori Levinson. Smith is arguing that's not a decision for the jury, that in fact these were presidential documents. You can tell that by their classified nature and that they involve national security. Smith has signaled he will appeal if that judge rules against them. Don't forget to buy your Powerball tickets if you plan to play tonight. The jackpot's now up to $1.09 billion. It's the ninth largest U.S. lottery prize ever and the fourth biggest Powerball jackpot ever. No one's won it since New Year's Day. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Paul Gauguin Cruises, French Polynesia's destination expert. Discover all-inclusive luxury cruising in Tahiti and the South Pacific today. Visit pgcruises.com. This statement has not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to my lifestyle and diet, I don't always make the smartest choices. Touchdown! Woo! Hey, how about another round and some more chips? But when it comes to taking care of my liver, I do make one very smart choice. Active liver tablets from New Nordic. I used to have real issues with my liver, and at my last checkup, my doc was concerned about my numbers. But since adding a once a day active liver tablet, my gut's better, I feel great, and my doctor's happy. I ask a lot of my liver, so the least I can do to say thanks is a daily dose of active liver. Active liver is one of many award-winning health products from New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Scandinavia. Purchase at Amazon.com or for a volume discount, visit NewNordicUSA.com. Available as a tablet or delicious sugar-free gummy. Protect and help your liver the easy and effective way with active liver at Amazon or NewNordicUSA.com. Meet this year's National Teacher of the Year. She's really kind to others, and every time I see her in the hallway, she always makes me smile. Students at Rogersville City School in Tennessee can't say enough about second grade teacher Missy Testerman, who also heads the English as a Second Language program there. I love teaching because I love being the person who gets to unlock the love of learning and mm. students. Missy got an in-person congrats at our CBS Times Square studio from fellow teacher First Lady Jill Biden, who revealed... When you come to the White House, we are going to have a state dinner for the teachers. Testerman's been a teacher for more than 30 years. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. Today's the day to treat yourself. It is the famous free cone day at Ben and Jerry's. It's a tradition that's been going on since 1979, and there's no limit on how many cones you can get either, as long as you just hit the back of the line every time. Monica Ricks, CBS News. How do you make sense of all the information out there about retirement, investing, and managing your money? You have questions? We have answers. Tune into the Financial Forum Show every Saturday morning at 9, live with me, Dwayne McAnally, certified financial planner, and my brother, LaDon McAnally. Call with questions or comment, or call my office at 728-1649. On this week's show, it's still not too late to decrease your taxes for 2023.
Jordan B. Peterson, We Who Wrestle With God Tour. If you say the truth and nothing else, you'll have an immense adventure as a consequence. You won't know what's going to happen to you, but the truth will reveal the world the way it's intended to be revealed, and the consequence for you will be that you'll have the adventure of your life. Jordan B. Peterson, live at Paycom Center, Saturday, April 13th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends. Yep. Making sense of it all. Now I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins Show. The Markley Van Camp and Robbins Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins is out today. Should be back tomorrow. John Kirby yesterday asked about a person here illegally murdering a woman in Michigan. Yeah, Ruby Garcia is the victim's name. She was murdered. Uh, the killer is an illegal immigrant, and he has apparently confessed uh, to doing it. Now, uh, Donald Trump was in Michigan yesterday. Uh, meeting with law enforcement, speaking in front of law enforcement, and talked about this and the, the, the murder of Lake and Riley and crime in general that has resulted from a Biden's border crisis. And now he's calling it Biden's border bloodbath. So, of course, from what I understand, right, this particular guy in Michigan was deported. Yeah. Because of the Biden policies, came back in. Yep. Unbelievable. So, of course, media is worried about the language, not the situation, not the crisis, but the language that Trump uses. Uh, Biden's border bloodbath. How dare they? How dare he say something like that? That's putting people's lives at risk uh, or something. So White House spokesman John Kirby was asked about uh, his thoughts on this situation. Okay. Why don't we let the judicial process play out here before we start making grandiose bumper sticker comments about what this says about the border? And, oh, Peter, to on. folks that are concerned about border security, the president would be the first one to stand up here and say he agrees. The border- no, he doesn't. He could have stopped this a long time ago. Sure they just can. keep lying about this day after day after day. The border does need some security uh, capabilities. That we do need more border patrol agents. And... All that has to happen is for the speaker to do his job, put that supplemental on the floor, let's get a vote. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they start rebuilding the wall? Uh, that's a good question. If they're so serious about it. Because they're not serious about it. No. <laughs> I don't even know. Has anyone even asked that question? I'm sure someone has. I just don't remember hearing it. Probably somewhere along the way. Like, why did... Joe Biden canceled the contracts or not cancel, just not fulfill them um, that were ready to go on day one. Why did he why did he not do that? And the border wall fencing that was in stacks along the border just left to rust. Yes. Doesn't make any sense. Now, all of a sudden, oh, politically, this doesn't help me. Yeah, we're serious about it. We're just not going to do anything. Right. Got it. Okay. Um, we'll let the process play out. I don't think we have time for that. And, and talking about it earlier, as far as the American people, this isn't just people on the right. This is all across demographics across the country. Yeah. And in a lot of urban areas have had enough with the illegal immigration. And this was in Chicago again. Yeah, this woman spoke at the Chicago City Council meeting and called out local leaders who are prioritizing illegals over citizens. Yep. Stop feeling like you're a bad person for calling them illegals. Stop letting our enemies gaslight us into believing we are racist or anti immigrant Right. Speak, girl. Speak. Oh, man. This is different. Group of people saying, hey, don't call us racist because we're calling out something. Yeah. She's absolutely right. A good person is empowered. A good person stands up at their neighbors. Yes. Speak. I'll finish in my favorite Martin Luther King Jr. your soul. And I hope my fellow Americans ponder this. He once said, the question is not whether we will be extremists, but what kind of extremists we will be. Yeah. Well, people can only be pushed so far. And, you know, certainly that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But 
I mean, when you have a situation where people are watching their neighborhoods, especially if you look in, in Chicago and other major metros, where a lot of these illegals are being dumped, it's not the rich neighborhoods. No, it is not. It's a lot of the quote unquote underserved communities that are being now asked to shoulder this burden because they're not politically connected, because they don't have a voice, because they're not uh, contributing to uh, some politician's campaign. They are considered the dregs of society. So, well, let's just let the, the other dregs of society live yep. in your neighborhood. You're not, a, you don't matter enough. And I, I think it's a tough hill to get over, but more people, and I'm glad she, she put it out, don't, you know, stop letting our enemies define us as racist right. because we have a problem with this. You have to get over, you know, any sort of aversion to being called a, called racist, xenophobic. You got to realize those words don't mean anything anymore. Yeah, this was years ago now. We're like, okay, so if I believe A, B, and C, that makes me racist? Well, fine, then I'm racist Yeah, by your definition. But who cares what your definition is? Right. You're seeking truth in the end. And, man, when she talked about extremism, that just reminded me of something that I saw last night. It was Victor Davis Hanson. Hoover Institute, who I often, and I don't mean this, um, I hope he wouldn't be, you know, like, hurt that I call him, like, a grandfatherly figure, <laughs> especially me at my age now, or, or a very wise uncle from the Hoover Institute. I saw he put this out, which he said, why are they destroying us? And I'm like, okay, it's worth a read, I suppose. And he said, if someone wished to destroy America, could he do anything more catastrophic than what we currently see and hear each day? What would um, an enemy do that we have not already done to ourselves? Here are 11 now familiar steps to civilizational destruction. Okay. Do we have time? Sure. I'll make it fast. Yeah. I'll go through it fast. Wipe out a 2,000-mile border. Allow 10 million foreign nationals to enter unlawfully. Have no audit of any. And it goes on from there. Run up $35 trillion in national debt. Keep adding a trillion to it each 100 days. Next. Appease or subsidize enemies like Iran and China. Demonize allies like Israel. Uh, check. Next. In a multiracial democracy, redefine identity only as one's tribal affiliation. Ensure each identity group rivals the other for victimhood and the state spoils it confers. We see that playing out mm -hmm. all the time. Redefine violent crime as understandable cry of the heart expressions of social justice. Yeah, certainly seen that. Emasculate the military by using um, non -merit meritocratic standards of race, gender, and sexual orientation to determine promotion and condemnation. Yep. Yeah. Uh, reinvent the justice system to indict, bankrupt, convict, jail, and eliminate political opponents. Check. Yeah. Encourage the fusion of the bureaucratic state with the electric media to form a powerful force uh, for political audit, surveillance, censorship, and coercion. Yeah, seen that. Make war on affordable gasoline and natural gas. Yep. Marry late, but preferably not at all. Consider males toxic, especially boys. Have no children, or as few as possible. We're seeing that in statistics we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Turn world-class universities into indoctrination centers. We've seen it before yeah. our eyes. There's your 11. He's spot on with that. And as that lady said in Chicago, and they're calling us the extremists? Yeah. For pointing out the illegal immigration problem? Give me a break. By the way, on the topic of electric vehicles, uh, Pete Buttigieg, Transportation Secretary was on Fox yesterday. Um, and John Roberts, who I'd like to hang out with John Roberts, I just want to say it. I know he's a guitar player, um, and I know you'll laugh at me for this, David, yeah. but a few weekends ago, I watched a documentary on the Canadian power trio Triumph. Of course. Of course Which featured John Roberts talking about the band, because he's from Canada. I didn't even know that. It's pretty fascinating. Anyway, John Roberts is interviewing Mayor Pete about electric vehicles and sets it up this way. Tesla sales fell 8.5% the first quarter of this year. Ford this week is laying off two-thirds of its workforce at the F-150 electric lightning plant. It's also scaling back a battery production facility because of sagging sales. EV sales are nowhere near what this president wanted or expected. 
Yet the administration continues to shove them down consumers' throats. Why? Okay, just remember that question. Why did they do this? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. There's not much hunger for them right now, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's be clear. Consumers have wanted and purchased more EVs every single year than the year before. And, uh, you know, Tesla is facing more competition as GM and Ford and Stellantis and other competitive players. Hold on a second. You're rolling your eyes like crazy. Well, it's it's the whole thing of, well, Tesla. And this is part of it, not to not to, you know, slam your Canadian BFF, John Roberts, but you know, bringing up the sales of, of, of Tesla. I've seen a lot of people do that. Those cuts are across the board. I mean, the, the amount of how much they've missed the mark when it comes to production versus delivery of, of mm -hmm. vehicles is astounding. And that's Ford, that's GM, that's Tesla. That's all of them. I just want to say it takes more than the love of triumph to be my BFF. Okay. I just said I'd like to hang. That's oh, all. I got, got you. You want to okay, No hang romance out. here. Just yeah. hang out first and see where it goes. Hang out, see where it goes. Yeah, right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pete goes on. Uh, start to make sure they get a piece of the EV market. Let's be clear that uh, the automotive sector is moving toward EVs, and we can't pretend otherwise. Sometimes when these debates happen, I feel like it's the early 2000s, and I'm talking to some people who uh, think that we can just have landline phones forever. Who, <laughs> who was making that argument? I've never heard it before. I don't that's remember that. Fr that's fresh for him. I mean, I'm, I was in high school when, when cell phones were becoming more and more common, among adults, right. I mean, none none of the kids in my high school, well, what, maybe two or three, mm -hmm. had a cell phone, actually. I didn't have my first cell phone until I was, I think, a senior in high school. Right. Um, and everyone was saying, this is awesome. No one was like, landline from my cold, dead hands. Nobody. No, there was. That's just it. That's why it's the false argument there. Yeah, and there was a demand for, for it because it was convenient and awesome. Yes, and everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're sold out. We can't make them fast enough. Right. These EVs. No, talk to dealers. Go out and talk to real people that run these lots, and they're like, we can't move them. These things, and go through a winter with them. Yeah. You can't get them started. It's insanity. All right, there's much more to get to. Um, you know what else we got to get to? Is all of a sudden it got highlighted that the LSU women's basketball team didn't come out for the national anthem. Now the governor wants something done about it. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Attention business owners, stop throwing your hard-earned money away on rent. Imagine owning your own building and saving thousands every year. Sound impossible? Not if you use General Steel. General Steel can help you save thousands by owning your own custom-designed building. Call 877-92-STEEL. That's 877-92-STEEL. To see how much money you can save with General Steel, our buildings come with a 50-year warranty and thousands of companies from Fortune 500 corporations to startups have trusted the General with their building needs. If you need to expand or start a new business, you really need General Steel. I'm very impressed with General Steel. Everyone's been extremely helpful. I'd recommend General Steel to anyone looking to build a steel building. Call 877-92-STEEL to find out how quickly your business can move into one of our quick construction kits, like a 50 by 100 perfect for the small business owner, or a 200 by 450 favorite of the Fortune 500. Just call 877-92-STEEL. That's 877-92-STEEL. My doctor told me my cholesterol is borderline. 
So I took control with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula. Garlic helps maintain healthy cholesterol safely and naturally. It's odor and taste free, and Garlic is a world leader in garlic potency. I'm taking charge of my cholesterol with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula, cholesterol's natural enemy. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The term natural reference is only the garlic in the product. Use as directed. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This is the home of Talk Radio's new generation, KOKC, powered by Parrish Devon, official personal injury lawyers of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Visit PepperWinds.com. Looking for a mower, tractor, utility vehicle, or piece of construction equipment? Check out the full lineup of Kubotas at Great Plains Kubota. When you want more than just a Kubota, you need the brand that serves. Great Plains Kubota. Visit GPKubota.com for the location nearest you. Attention, Norman and OKC. Sooner Kia slashing payments on brand new Kias. Right now, I got 22 new Kias under 222 a month. These days, car payments have gotten way out of hand. But at Sooner Kia, you can choose from 22 new Kias in stock, all available for under 222 per month. Like a 2024 Kia Seltos. This month, just 222 per month. Yes, a brand new 2024 Kia Seltos for just 222 per month. Don't want a Seltos? Then choose from other great Kia models, like a 2024 Kia Forte, Soul, and more. All for under 222 per month. Feeling stuck in a loan or lease? Sooner Kia is here to get you released. Even if you owe up to eight grand more than your trade is worth. I'm Aaron Leger, and if you're tired of crazy high car payments, get to Sooner Kia today and choose from 22 brand new Kias for under 222 per month. With approved credit through KFA, full retail. Negative equity may be refinanced. Offers may not combine. 36 month lease, 24 95 US signing, plus tax tag license, stock acquisition fee, and first month's payment. 10,000 miles per year, zero security deposit. Expires 4 5 24. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Amy, and we're Integrity Home Buyers, and we buy houses for cash. We're the local husband and wife team in the Metro that pays cash fast for as-is properties in any condition and any price range. We buy inherited houses, vacant houses, bad renter houses, foreclosures, storm damage houses, even nicer homes in good condition that you need to sell fast. We buy land, multifamily units, and mobile homes on acreage. Best of all, you don't pay any commission or fees. There's no banks involved and no realtors. Which means no showings, no inspections, and no hassle. We buy your property as-is. Don't repair a thing or even clean up. We're local and live right here in Oklahoma City. We know the market and can typically offer you more for your property than out-of-state investors. Give us a call before you list it. We'd love to help with your situation. Call 405-883-0000. That's Integrity Homebuyers at 405-883-0000. That's 405-883-0000. 1520-KOKC. I'm Jamie Markley, the Gen X, David Van Camp, the Millennial, the Sexy Boomer. Scott Robbins out today. Should be back tomorrow. It is time for our update. It's the Markley, Van Camp, and Robbins 2024. 2024. Are you running? Are you not running? No BS <laughs> update. Everything you need to know without all the crap. I'm not to do no research. Absolutely. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. All right, David, what do you got today? Well, the governor of Nebraska has come out in support of a bill that could have huge implications for the 2024 election. And I love this. I love watching Republicans actually play offense for once. Uh, So for most of the country, this has to do with the electoral votes out of the state of Nebraska. For most of the country, all of a state's electoral votes go to the person who won the popular vote. So if you win a majority in Texas you get all 40 votes. If you win Illinois, you get all 19 votes and so on. But in Nebraska and Maine, they do it a little differently. They have a system where you can get electoral votes theoretically, even if you lost the state. In Nebraska, they've got five votes available for the Electoral College, what actually elects our presidents. 
Um, if you win the state, you get two of them automatically. The other three are decided based on who wins in each of the state's congressional districts. So, for example, in 2020, Joe Biden won the state's second district. That's the Omaha area, picking up one electoral vote in the state of Nebraska. Whereas Trump got the other four. Now, the governor of Nebraska is pushing for a bill that would get rid of that and make it a winner take all state. Let's make it simpler. Let's, you know, not have to have this, you know, who won Omaha versus who won the rest of the state. No, we're just going to have one election decide the state because that's more in line with the, the, the structure of the Electoral College. Now, why this matters is because if it's a narrow contest, which many people, myself included, believe it will be very, mm-hmm. very closely decided, Joe might actually need that one vote. Uh, Politico's Jonathan Lemire was freaking out about it. I this, bet the left is freaking. Oh, yeah. This means that if Biden can't get the one electoral vote from the Omaha area and he loses all the swing states except for Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, he would only get 269 electoral votes. You need 270 to win the, to win the White House. <laughs> That's great, man. So he's saying the easiest path, meaning like mm-hmm. you can basically lose... Uh, every state you think you need, uh, but for three, uh, and as long as you pick up that one electoral vote, you'll be golden. The easiest path for Joe Biden to become president is uh, gone completely. Wow. You know, there was something else as far as an election update. I have no idea how they come up with ideas of how they're going to run, say, commercials on broadcast there during sporting events, yeah. like if for Trump. There's one with Biden, man, that and maybe they've done this and I don't remember it. But, you know, we know he lies all the time, but he's lied forever. And there are so many people in the country that think, well, he's just he was always a good guy, but maybe he's lost his way. And I saw this old clip running around online last night, and it wasn't about the plagiarism. It was the outright lies about him in college. Do you remember this? This would have been ABC News like shoot, man. 35 years ago yeah. now, or, or longer than that, 37 years ago. Explaining uh, to do, the new questions stem from the tape the remarks of Biden United during an April States. campaign appearance in New Hampshire. 88. I, I went to law school on yeah. a full academic scholarship, the only one in my, in my class uh, to have a full academic scholarship. Went back to law school and, in fact, ended up in the top half of my class. I was the outstanding student in the political science department at the end of my year. I graduated with three degrees from undergraduate school and 165 credits, only 123 credits. Biden now concedes he did not graduate in the top half of his law school class, that he does not have three degrees from college, and that he was not named outstanding political science student in college. Newsweek says Biden actually went to school on a half scholarship, ended up near the bottom of his class, and won only one degree, not three. Joe Biden ranked 76th in a class of 85 at the University of Syracuse Law School. See, I think that would be a great commercial. I I think so, yes. Even today. This is the Barkley Van Camp and Robin Show. Okay, biggest story today, David. The guy just lies so effortless, effortlessly. Oh, it's like breathing for him. And I, I mean, it's it's so funny watching it because that's never gone away. And I'll, I'll go back to a take I've had for years now. But the the most brilliant thing that the Obama campaign in 2008 pulled off was turning this guy into like lunch pail Joe, because he was a laughing stock before that. Nobody loved Joe Biden. Until Barack Obama and his team completely revamped his image in 2008. I'll bet you there's at least 10 people I know that if you were to play that for them, they have no recollection of it at all. It's wild, man. All right. We get to a news update and controversy straight ahead. You can do that? At Impressions Printing, we are daily surprising our customers with our ability to bring their ideas to life. Whether your project is an updated business card or an event invite, or you need a new sign, vehicle wrap, wall wrap, or an entire office makeover, we are here to make sure it happens. 
Let's see what we can do online at impressionsprinting.com and let us help you find your next You Can Do That moment. You're going to love what you see. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back. And right now at Jim Norton Toyota, you can have six car payments made for you when you buy or lease any new or pre-owned vehicle. Jim Norton Toyota's got your back with super low rates and an optional three-year vehicle return plan and a $12,500 payment waiver that you can use when you need it most. Hey, it's a better, safer way to finance your next new or pre-owned vehicle, and it's available with Jim Norton Toyota's exclusive golden payment waivers. Check it all out at Jim Norton Toyota okc.com then come on out shop a huge selection of new and pre-owned vehicles with rock bottom prices and get added protection and you'll have up to six payments made for you when you need it most jim norton toyota's got your back hey come on who else offers a three-year vehicle return plan and up to twelve thousand five hundred dollar payment waivers it's available on every new and pre-owned vehicle at jim norton toyota so check it all out jim norton toyota okc.com or come and see us at 8401 northwest expressway cdw details Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes isn't long. Nope. And they're fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make languages fun and engaging. You might even forget you're learning. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. Babbel teaches language skills you'll actually use about travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are voiced by real native speakers, you'll get pronunciation just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. Get Babbel. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Before I came to the nerve renewal clinic, I had difficulties walking, my feet burning, no sleep at night, and couldn't play with my grandchildren. My name is Sarah, and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Nerve Renewal Neuropathy Clinic. One of the things I see all the time is patients that were having difficulty falling asleep due to pain. After coming to nerve renewal, our patients are able to sleep better at night, play with their grandchildren more, and go for walks without being in a lot of pain. And since I've been coming here, I can finally walk better, sleep better, and be able to do the activities with my grandchildren. If you're living with pain, call Nerve Renewal today. You really have nothing to lose and most insurances do cover it and you could improve your quality of life. If you're suffering from pain, burning, or numbness due to neuropathy, schedule your consultation with Nerve Renewal now. Our non-invasive treatments are covered by Medicare, VA, and most insurance companies and could have you pain-free within a few short weeks. With five convenient locations in OKC, Edmond, Norman, and Midwest City, relief is right around the corner. Call 405-674-4949. That's 405-674-4949. Or visit Nerve Renewal now. Spring is finally here, and the Greens Country Club is ready to help you and your family enjoy it to the fullest. The Greens boasts a premier golf experience, the most celebrated pickleball and tennis in the state, private member-only dining, and a calendar packed with events for all ages. Come find out what makes us so special. Is pickleball or tennis your game? Our award-winning racket facility offers options for all ages and skill levels, along with some of the top teaching pros in the country. Enjoy an array of fresh menu selections in the Twisted Oak Tavern from Chef Chris, and gain exclusive access to our members only speakeasy the new green room offers the perfect mix of amenities and comfort whether you're looking to play around on our multi-sport simulator enjoy perfectly crafted cocktails and cuisine with friends or family or watch the big game the green room has it all enroll this spring and save golf memberships start as low as 425 a month and new racketed social members pay no fee to join and save as much as 600 dollars in their first year to find out more contact the membership office at 405-751-6266 or email join at the green cc.com all right the markley van camp and robin show jamie markley david van camp scott robbins out he should be back tomorrow um 
Illegals got busted with guns. Where was this, David? Oh, this is in New York in the Bronx. Uh, police have arrested several illegal aliens who they found squatting in a home in the Bronx with guns and drugs. This happened actually last week, but we're getting news of it now, courtesy of WABC. Uh, officials say they chased one of the guys who uh, tried to run away with a gun. They got they caught him. But what happened was they're, they're squatting in this house that's right across the street from a school. And one of the guys was seen with a gun outside. And so the cops get called and they show up. Authorities got a search warrant. They found two more loaded guns in addition to the one that was being held by the illegal immigrant who was trying to run. Uh, three loaded extended magazines. They found ammo and a bag of ketamine mixed with cocaine. Well, you got to understand, David, I'm sure they were just good hearted asylum seekers. Yeah. And the country of origin, they probably felt were trying to track them down and get them. So they were yeah. arming themselves. Right. Exactly. A seven year old child was also found in the home. Holy smokes. Uh, two of the people with the guns had open cases, one for an attempted murder in Yonkers, and wow. one uh, walking around with an open gun indictment. And wouldn't you know it, six of the eight people who were arrested are already out. you got to be kidding me. Nope. Obviously joking about being asylum seekers. Uh, asylum from the police, I guess, and now they're out? Yeah. What do you got to do to stay in jail there? You got, I mean, dude, you got, you, you're, you're here illegally. At least many of, if not all of them, are here illegally. You've got hard drugs, ketamine and cocaine, along with well, illegally obtained handguns. We need to do something about gun violence in America. And a child in the home. Background check. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna hold you. No, I mean no no problem. No, you're just asylum seekers. See. Okay, <laughs> got to jump through hoops to own a firearm. Law-abiding citizens, we hear this all the time. More background checks, more yeah. this, more that. It never affects well, the criminals. They're getting them illegally, and, and then you find somebody with what is it? Extended mags. Yeah. Loaded in New York, that means like twelve rounds, but still. Again, I don't know what what how what the capacity was, but but pretty well armed. Yeah. Now let's let them out. Sure. It's insanity. Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys again was already charged with attempted murder for shooting another person in the leg. Okay, if you're here illegally and you're charged with attempted murder, no, you got to stay in jail <laughs> until your trial. How is this? How does this make any sense other than, well, the the progressive left wants to destroy America, and yep. so why not prioritize the well-being of criminals in order to turn the rest of the population into sheep? And isn't the current talking point from the left? By the way, statistics of people in America commit more crimes than illegals do. Dude, they're they're going back to that. Okay, <laughs> MSNBC reporter Vaughn Hilliard was breaking down Trump's stop in Michigan. Trump was talking about the wave of crime being committed by illegal aliens across the country, and the reporter went right back to the old leftist talking point. Oh, fantastic. Right on cue. Here we go. Americans have heard this sort of, this sort of severe immigration rhetoric for a long time, but frankly, <laughs> the data does not bear out the fact that undocumented immigrants kill Americans at any greater rate than uh, uh, legal Americans, if you will. But that is the difficult part here, and especially when you're dealing with devastating, tragic stories like uh, Lake and Riley's in Georgia. And Donald Trump has made it clear that he is going to try to politically use yeah. those tragedies for the political game. Well, the dad is not as emotional as a, as a grieving family. Yeah, the, the people who willingly call me a murderer because I own guns. Yeah. They say it's my fault that the massacre at Uvalde happened. Yeah. Are now saying, you know, just because there's this data about, you know, illegal immigrants killing people doesn't mean that it's really that big of an issue. You need to get out of your emotional fields. The point is, is that if you have somebody who is here, who is not supposed to be here, who in many cases has already been or would be eligible for deportation under existing federal law, and they're allowed 
to walk around in the streets of America. That makes it worse than somebody who is here illegally who kills somebody. Because that person should never have been here to begin with to commit the crimes that they committed. It's the, infuriating. The other thing is the data is all sorts of skewed because different police departments report illegal immigrants in a different manner. Some places are sanctuary jurisdictions and uh, don't make notes of those things. You know, something else, too. When the media does the thing on mass shootings, we've already seen it fill in the number 300 yeah. mass shootings so far this year. Okay, and what's the criteria again for a mass shooting as uh, far as media is concerned? Four or more people shot in a single event. Okay. Have you ever seen it? This was making its way online. Uh, and it was from either last year or the year before. Because, you know, with those type of statistics, there would be over 700 mass shootings mm -hmm. in a year, right? And then it has it almost like a billboard of all the mugshots of the people that committed the crimes. Yeah. Okay? It's something they won't talk about because it doesn't fit narratives. Ooh. They, if you if you put out that image, uh, all the people who are talking about gun violence would call you racist. But it's factual. Mm -hmm. We're just going with the facts. These are the ones that committed these crimes. I don't have anything against anybody of any color. But you can't ignore the fact that a lot of these are gang-related shootings, mm -hmm. and a lot of these shooters are young black males. But that doesn't fit a narrative with media, so they will not report on that part. No. And they still won't do anything about people in possession of guns illegally, like these illegals or so many of the gangbangers. Yeah. So they're really not serious about doing anything about gun violence. No, it's about targeting uh, Amer law-abiding Americans who want to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Those are the people they want to disarm. Because as soon as you can disarm law-abiding citizens, then you can do whatever you want as a government. Look at Australia. Look at New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, moving on. This is interesting. Talking about somebody that used to be in media, sports media, but left. Sage Steele, if you remember from mm -hmm. ESPN. She's working with Bill Maher now, which is kind of wild. Because he knows she's conservative, but he still wants her to be able to do her show under his platform. So hats off to him for that. Yeah. I don't agree with him on a lot. He gets a little wishy-washy, whatever. But it was interesting because she's doing this interview with Daily Wire about it. And in it, she talks about when she had to interview Biden in 2021 during COVID. And then, you know, it was the reopening in a lot of different places. And then the vaccine mandates, all that was, you know, starting to kick in. And so she said, yeah, we were Disney owned, of course, at ESPN. And there was a vaccine mandate. And she had done a research and said, My, it usually takes six, eight years before it comes back. And, you know, it's safe. And she wasn't thrilled about doing it, but she wanted to keep her job. And so she did it. And she was on a podcast saying she was against the mandates and made this point, which I think is really true. If I had said, listen, all these anti-vaxxers are being quite selfish and don't care about their neighbors or their coworkers or their families and just get it and care about, I would have been celebrated. The other comments I made about race and being biracial versus Barbara Walters and people telling me I should identify as black, even though I'm black and white. If, if, if I had said the other idea, I, I feel like I would have been celebrated and that's where the hypocrisy was and that's why I stood up. So anyway, long story short, you know, she ended up leaving there, yeah. suing, which, you know, good for her. But part of what she was talking about, she had to interview Biden, but they told her, do not, you are not going to deviate from these questions. These are the questions that you ask him. She said it was just so structured. And I was told, you will say every word that we write out, do not deviate. And she said it was gone over dozens of times by many editors and executives. Again, I was on script and told not to deviate. Um, and she said she actually it said it was such a strange uh, sort of interview uh, because it was, she said, heartbreaking considering his mental acuity. <laughs> said that, uh, what was it? Didn't know what was going on just before he sat down. Said, I had to chit-chat waiting uh, for us to start rolling. She said, of course, he has someone next to him. 
and they keep a black like curtain over the lens of the camera so you can't see him until the last second no. but you can hear and we're chit chatting and I hear him he says well what's this for and who am I talking to what what's her name he's trying to get it all straight before he goes on and so I rewatched that interview and it's really something um, if you want to hear just you know quick clip or two oh sure um, because in retrospect now looking back at it a couple of years after this you know happened what it was like at the time and see how well this ages and the first clip sage steel is going to talk about athletes being a little hesitant to get the vax and then the response there are people who are hesitant athletes who are hesitant so mr president yep. if you're in a clubhouse or a locker room with those athletes what would you say to those who are hesitant to get vaccinated I'd say, look, I'm president of the United States. I got vaccinated. You know, it's not, I, I don't have an unimportant job. Would I take the vaccination, the vaccine, if I didn't, if I thought it was going to hurt me or affect my capacity? Look, we've done an incredible scientist. It's unintentionally oh, funny yeah, there, isn't it? That is <laughs> unintentionally very, very funny. Incredible scientific research on the three vaccines that we're using now, the J&J, &J, Pfizer, and Moderna. And they work. There's even studies now showing that, hmm. that with the Pfizer, it works on younger people, 15, 16, 17 years old. So we're making progress. But we have to get to the point where hmm. enough people have taken the vaccine so you've diminished exponentially the prospect of it being able to continue to spread. Oh, really? It'll uh, stop the spread, huh? Yeah, well, that was a lie. Yeah. You know, I carry in my pocket a, uh, a, 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 my schedule. And every single day I have my staff, I don't would I take it out here. You remember this? Every now? single day I have my staff list the total number of people who have died as a consequence of these of, of this COVID crisis. Remember that whole trick? See, I'm the empathetic part. Right, exactly. You know that. And then one of the questions she asked, Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, because Abbott, you know, mass mandate gone. Rangers going to have full capacity. Oh! Goodness gracious. Texas Rangers say there will not be any attendance restrictions in their stadium this season. That means it could be filled to capacity, Mr. President, 40,000 people with masks required except when actively eating and drinking. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the Rangers' yeah. decision? Well, that's a decision they made. I think it's a mistake. They should listen to Dr. Fauci and the scientists and the experts. Um, and, uh, but uh, I think it's not responsible. It's not responsible. Got that? Yeah. That one doesn't age well. No. No. Really something, though. You may wind up going and winning a World Series, you know? I, a couple years later. Yeah, well. But still. Yeah. I like the way chance. I told it better. I'm sorry. That's right. I should have got the media notes. To just roll with that part. Yeah. You know? Of course. Um, by the way, and I always thought Sage Steele did a good job with ESPN. Some people, you feel like, okay, they're just putting her there for whatever. She's solid. I always thought she was solid. But you know where there's not equity right now? Where's that? With women's participation. Whistling. Only 9% of women say they're above average at whistling. <laughs> above average? What does yes. an average whistler sound like? I'm not quite sure. But I saw the headline, and all I'm expecting now is whistling equity to come around sometime soon. And we'll cover it. You better believe that. All right. Hey, oh, we're talking about a dude injuring women's basketball players next. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try soon. Harry's is available online and in-store at a retailer near you. Get a $13 trial set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash refresh. That's harrys.com slash refresh. Or check us out at your local Costco for a price you can't find anywhere else. 
Just look for the Chrome Razor with 13 blade refills at your local Costco. You can't miss it. Exclusive to Costco members. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Do you hear that? Asthma triggers are everywhere. From dust mites, pet dander, and pollen, to smog and smoke, an asthma attack can strike anywhere, anytime. Be prepared with quick-acting primatine mist. Clinically proven to open airways quickly. It's the number one FDA-approved asthma inhaler available over the counter. Primatine Mist. हमारे साथ IPL के तमाम मैचेस देखने के लिए हिंदी इंग्लिश कमेंट्री के साथ सिर्फ और सिर्फ हमारे YouTube चैनल के साथ. अगर अभी तक आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया, तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करके वीडियो को लाइक कर लें. The pressures of school, dating, and the future in general can seem overwhelming sometimes. But there are healthy ways to deal with stress, ways to reduce it and channel your energy in positive directions. And you don't have to do it alone. The Will Rogers Institute has a free booklet with some really helpful information. For your free copy, visit wrinstitute.org and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Hi, I'm Jeff Gordon. As a four-time NASCAR champion, nothing is more important to me than winning a race, especially the race to cure children's cancer. Each day, more than 40,000 children are undergoing cancer treatment at hospitals throughout the United States. Cure Search for Children's Cancer supports the research and treatment for 90% of those children. Only research cures children's cancer. Join the Jeff Gordon Children's Foundation in supporting this winning team. Get involved at CureSearch.org. Cancer is a big idea for a small child. She dreams of being a figure skater. We're trying to figure out what to do next. Each school day, two classrooms of children are diagnosed with cancer. The doctor said there's hope. I'll be brave, Mommy. If I could just take her place. It's okay, Daddy. Only research cures childhood cancer. Give today. You can help fund this life-saving research to conquer childhood cancer. Visit CureSearch.org today. Hello, this is Michael Douglas. Pneumonia can be dangerous, especially for older people and for those who have diseases like asthma, emphysema, or chronic bronchitis. Fortunately, there's a vaccine that can immunize people against one of the most common forms of pneumonia. If you're over 60 or have a chronic lung disease, ask your doctor whether a pneumonia vaccine would be right for you. It could protect you from a serious illness or even save your life. A message from the Will Rogers Institute. Visit us at wrinstitute.org. Asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, tuberculosis. These pulmonary diseases affect millions of Americans daily. And if you already suffer from one of these ailments, then you're well aware of the problems that you face. For over 75 years, the Will Rogers Institute has provided health education and research for all. For more information, visit wrinstitute.org or call toll-free 877-957-7575. And find us on Facebook and Twitter, the Will Rogers Institute, since 1936. Kathy Ireland for the Will Rogers Institute. Are you worried that your kids aren't spending enough time being physically active? The best fitness is family activity. Ride bikes, play soccer, or just take a walk through the neighborhood. The important thing is to get your children moving with you. For more information on family activities and fitness, call the Will Rogers Institute. Call toll-free 877-957-7575 or visit wrinstitute.org and find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Markley Van Camp and Robbins Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins out. Going to be back tomorrow. Of course, baseball season is here. Maybe that's why he's gone today. He's just watching some games. That's here. Got the biggest moments in basketball and hockey coming. It's a great time to check out Prize Picks. Yeah, get in on the playoff action and the you know the big that I can't really use the phrase that you might know it as the big basketball tournament. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks as you and the world's best players take the game to a new level during basketball's postseason. And you also get injury insurance so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. 
like a League of Legends person. You know, the thumb is all sore and they got to check out. You're covered here. Like for basketball games, as an example, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and doesn't return in the second, Prize Picks will have your back and not count that as a loss. Yeah, uh, Prize Picks is really easy to play. I can make my picks, submit my entries in less than 60 seconds. Uh, they also offer Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits into your account uh, this season. All you got to do is download the app today. You can use code MVCR for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. That's code MVCR on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to hundred bucks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Okay, this is an update on this guy that injured women basketball players. Yeah, remember that uh, the uh, the Kip Academy in Lynn, Massachusetts. This dude yes. is six feet tall. Yeah, says he's a girl playing girls basketball. Injures three girls on the court because, I mean, he's head and shoulders above everybody. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it it looked like an edgy SNL sketch, if SNL still did, you know, comedy. Uh, If I remember right, they just forfeited that game. They just left. Yeah, you you have to. You you, you can't let your girls get get pummeled like that by some dude. Well, he has uh, played in other girls' sports before, including around the time he had a beard. Painful sports. Okay. Now, he, according to Australian magazine Quillette, uh, had uh, been part of a rowing team, was suspended and kicked off the team. Uh, The student competed for a private rowing club in Massachusetts before an alleged direct case of harassment in in the locker room. Uh, The male athlete was caught staring openly at one of the female athletes while she changed her clothes in the women's locker room and remarked, Ooh, T-word that I can't say on the air. The T-word for boobies. Yes. Whoa. Said that? Yes. He needs his butt kicked. Well, sure he does. You know, you hear different people in media talking about don't want to be on the wrong side of history. For the adults that allowed that to happen, think what people are going to be saying about you in 30 years. How did you let that freaking happen? This is the Mark and Van Camp and Robin Show. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Angie's List is now Angie, and we've heard a lot of theories about why. I thought it was an eco-move. Fewer words, less paper. No, it was so you could say it faster. No, it's to be more iconic. Must be a tech thing. But those aren't quite right. It's because now you can compare upfront prices, book a service instantly, and even get your project handled from start to finish. Sounds easy. It is, and it makes us so much more than just a list. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I. Or download the app today. The Festival of the Arts returns to Bicentennial Park April 25th through the 28th with more than 150 of the nation's finest artists, 30 food vendors, over 100 performances on multiple stages, and an interactive children's area surrounding City Hall. 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday. Admission is free. Join Arts Council Oklahoma City for four days of spring fun at Festival of the Arts. Visit Arts Council OKC.com for more. Are you on track to meet your retirement goals? The Bull and Bear Show with Michael McGuire can help. Every Saturday at noon, we discuss the latest retirement planning strategies and provide listeners with the information they need to make informed decisions about their retirement savings. Whether you're just starting out or you're nearing retirement, the Bull and Bear Show can help you develop a retirement plan that's right for you. So if you're serious about retiring comfortably, tune in to the Bull and Bear Show every Saturday at noon on News Talk KOKC. KOKC, Oklahoma City. The Tyler Media Station, entertaining you since 1965. 95.3 FM and 1520 AM. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. 
I'm Monica Ricks. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir confirms at least one person has now died in strong storms in his state. The toughest news out of the storm. We have confirmed one weather-related fatality. Uh, this came in Campbell County in uh, a car accident when those first line of strong storms and rain were coming through. A dozen tornadoes have been reported across six states, and the risk is still high today. Odyssey New York meteorologist Craig Allen. Almost 7 million people have to worry about the possibility of tornadoes from lower portions of Delaware, Maryland's eastern shore, down through Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Virginia, Chesapeake, Richmond, Virginia, Newport News, Virginia as well. Warnings also in effect for high winds, flooding, and possible winter storms. Search and rescue efforts are underway in Taiwan, which got hit this morning with its strongest earthquake in 25 years. At least nine people have died, more than a thousand are injured, and people are still missing under mountains of debris. CBS's MTS Tayeb has the latest. The earthquake that was so powerful, some buildings tipped onto their sides. In fact, in the eastern coastal Hualien City, the epicenter of the quake, rescue workers had to use cranes to free people stuck inside damaged buildings. The storm so strong and set off tsunami warnings in Japan, China, and the Philippines. Israel says it regrets killing foreign aid workers in an airstrike in Gaza. Government spokesman Alana Stern. Every war is very difficult, it's very messy, it's very dangerous, and it has casualties that we would all rather not have on the Israeli side and on the Palestinian side. Here at home, inflation still top of mind for the Federal Reserve, but Fed Chair Jerome Powell says there's still a lot of work to do. CBS's Christopher Cruz reports. Powell said he expects the Fed will lower interest rates before 2025. My colleagues and I continue to believe that the policy rate is likely at its peak for this tightening cycle. Powell said he's determined not to act too quickly. Reducing rates too soon or too much could result in a reversal of the progress we've seen on inflation. The Fed meets again later this month. Tonight's Powerball jackpot's a big one. Lotto players across the country are scurrying to purchase Powerball tickets with hopes of striking it rich (laughs) by winning the whopping $1.09 billion jackpot. Tonight's drawing the 40th since the last winner on New Year's Day. This woman had a surprising answer on what she'd do if she won. I'd give a billion dollars away because seriously, there's how many people in the world who are hungry and are looking for a home and need medical help. CBS's Matt Piper reports tonight's drawing also the fourth largest in Powerball history. This is CBS News. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Protect your home and auto. Save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. Let's face it. Nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at newnordicusa.com. In case you missed it, the White House wants NASA to create a new time zone for the moon. The idea is to formulate a plan by the end of 2026 for a standard that will be called Coordinated Lunar Time. The differing gravitational force can change how time unfolds relative to how it's perceived on Earth. The same clock that we have on Earth would move at a different rate on the moon. Among other things, the new standard would provide a timekeeping benchmark for lunar spacecraft and satellites that require extreme precision. Steve Kathan, CBS News. George Carlin's estate has agreed to a settlement with the media company it sued over a fake hour-long comedy special. Cancer is just one of many, many, many methods God created out of thin air in order to murder you. It used AI to recreate the late comedian's style and material. Carlin is considered one of the most influential stand-up comedians of the 20th century. He died in 2008 at 71. Monica Ricks, CBS News. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheets. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheets. 
smelling fresher than ever, it's the she eat. Oh, so soft fabric. Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes. You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1. Are you ready? Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, and Scott Robbins. We just become best friends. Yep. Making sense of it all. Now I get it. And having some fun. Lighten up, Francis. This is the Mark. The Markley Van Camp and Robbins Show. Jamie Markley, David Van Camp, Scott Robbins, out today, planned, should be back tomorrow. Okay, David, you can see it all over the place. People are getting fed up with the illegal immigration problem. You're talking big cities. Oh, yeah. And, and they're tired of being uh, subject to gaslighting. They're tired of being lied to all of the time that, oh, just shut up and take it. Yeah. I mean, being uh, called racist and being called racist, no matter the color of your skin, by the way, doesn't matter. Oh, no. Uh, a lot of black Americans in big cities are being called racist yeah. because they have a problem with illegal immigration taking their services. And it, which is very odd, because as Scott mentioned on Monday, you know, on, on Sunday, in addition to being Easter and, of course, Trans Day of Visibility, <laughs> it was Cesar Chavez Day mm -hmm. and a big time labor guy. Uh, and he was very anti-illegal immigration and yet it's interesting isn't it a lot of democrats celebrated him on sunday well i mean sooner or later the left eats itself well that that's absolutely true now i we've been playing various clips from this lady who showed up at the chicago city council meeting uh to talk uh middle-aged to young ish uh asian lady uh who was just kind of incensed and had had it with being told that your concerns don't matter. And uh, she does it in such a sort of calm, factual way. Yeah, and she just, to their face, called out the local leaders who are prioritizing illegal immigrants over citizens. Yeah. And we have the Committee on Immigrant and Refugee Rights, headed by anti-American Alderman Andre Boston. Yeah! Okay. They're really throwing around those friendly terms. But I'd like to call them what they are, the pro-criminal committee, oh. the anti-American committee. Yeah. Everyone recognizes that something evil is among us, and Americans are not ready for the fundamental impact this will have. Again, if you just played little clips of this person, yeah. and you had media members, guess who is this? This is some right-wing rally. Right. Uh, not even close. In fact, we can't even fathom it because we've never seen anything like this. Right. Yeah. We have an administration that is run by criminals who hate America. Yes. Yes. Why they protect these criminals. Yes. Yes. And we have a government that uses language to weaponize the masses. Mm -hmm. They're not illegal aliens. They're asylum seekers. Right. They're all refugees. Right. And they throw these terms around so that the people of America feel guilty. Because nobody wants to be a bad person. We all aim to be good. But there's a distinction between goodness and tolerance. And unfortunately, I believe the majority of Americans are not acting out of the spirit of goodness, but rather out of the spirit of cowardliness.